chains to devour the human feet. Neither did he create streets to harness us like brute beasts to the carriages of kings. To give the world the example of space, pride, perfidy, avarice, debauchery, and falsehood to the world. He created the universe to celebrate his power. He created men to help and to love one another. And to attain happiness through the path of virtue. The author of nature links all mortals together in an immense chain of love and happiness. Perish the tyrants who have dared to break it. Frenchmen, Republicans, it is up to you to cleanse the earth they have studied and to restore the justice they have banished from it. Liberty and virtue issue together from the branches of the tree. Do the right down. surrender ourselves today under his auspices to the just ecstasy of pure joy. Tomorrow we shall again combat vices and tyrants. We shall be an example of republican virtues. That shall honor the supreme being more. The eternally happy day which the French people consecrate the supreme being has finally arrived. Merlin, Talien, Bourdon, these are all deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, these should do nicely. Did not his immortal hand by engraving in the hearts of men the code of justice right there the death sentence of tyrants? Did not his voice in the very beginning of time decree the republic, making liberty, good faith, and justice the order of the day for all centuries and for all people? He did not yeah, yeah. Well? A list of names. Fifty or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. But first... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poison of atheism, they can no more tear the world from it. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism, they can no more tear the world from it. Armed in turn with the what? daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism. Religious conspiracies. People fear no more their self. People fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracy. I'll have your guts out! They can no more tell it. People fear it! More speed! Need to capture!
armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the of atheism. They can no more tear the world from yes. armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism. They can no more tear the world from the arms in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism. Religious conspiracies. People fear no more their people fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracies. That would be the place for much too slow. Aha, there he is. Out of my way! Just a pause of you. You think you can outrun me? You're not that fast! Let go! Let go! You're mine! Peek. People fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracies. Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Strike the guards. They have no Distract the guards. Right. They can no more tear the world from. People fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracies. They can no more tear the world. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. We must be generous toward the good, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and inexorable toward the We must be compassionate toward the good. Generous, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and the next one, we must be generous toward the good, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and inexorable toward the wicked. Let us not count on unalloyed prosperity, on triumph without obstacles, or on anything that depends upon the fortune of the world. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisons of atheism, they can no more tear the world from How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Jarnay off. Leave that part to me. Thank you. 
Revolution is not a brilliant folly. The minions of tyranny may be able to assassinate you, but it is not in their power to annihilate you completely. Man, whoever you are, but you can again think well of yourself. You can attach your transitory life to God himself and to depend only on our constancy and our virtue. You who are wretched, hold up your woeful heads. You can again raise your eyes to the sky with impunity. <laughs> Let us not count on unalloyed prosperity, on triumph without obstacles, or on anything that depends upon the fortune or perversity of another. Let nature thus regain all its magnificence, and wisdom all its empire. Let us be generous for those who are good, compassionate for the unfortunate, and toward the wicked. I'll show you what my favorite is. Let us be serious and discreet in all our deliberations, as men who determine the interests of the whole world. Let nature thus regain all its magnificence and wisdom all the the supreme being is not destroyed. Let us depend only on our constancy and our virtue. People, fear no more that their sacrilegious conspiracies. They can no more tear the world from the breast. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of empire. Uh -huh. Being a list of enemies of the revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That set the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, it will be no more use to Germain. When do I abandon him? He's vulnerable. Let's go.
Just a little more. 